Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 17 July. It's a Wednesday. Checking in on this uh, S&P futures chart. Broke this trend line yesterday at around 11. Death knock today, uh, which is sort of the retouch of this upward sloping line comes in around 15 16 of course short today after yesterday's price action is the way um, not a lot of global macro news coming out on the calendar that may drive this uh, for us it'll just be sort of a valuation type of deal perhaps we'd be looking for some earnings to miss or just in general, um, you know, selling from these very overbought positions. We'll see. It's pretty straightforward trade. Uh, you want to get your average as close to 30.22 as possible, which are the recent highs, and that's where your stop has to be. Uh, so we'll see how this uh, how this turns out. On the other futures side, <coughs> still short ZN. Printed a 24 low yesterday. Now it's the third uh, third time we've printed that. Actually, 23 there. 24 four days ago, and 20. Sorry, 24 on the 12th of June. So we've got a little bit of support down there. 126.24. We're back 127.02 just sideways consolidation uh, we're core short this we're not we're not trading it we're just holding core short uh, we'll just have to see what happens we do have some inflation stuff coming out of Europe but that usually there's really no volatility usually associated with that we've got inflation out of Canada which there is usually a bit more volatility with that number but won't affect US bonds uh, and building permits and housing starts really, again, won't affect. Beige book very late might have an effect. But we're just watching price here. Uh, we have our parameters we've been talking about. We're just core short. Target here is, is sort of 124.30, so kind of a medium-term position. We'll just see how this thing turns out. Let's go uh, to the currency world. Euro turned lower yesterday, but still in the bigger picture in the middle of nowhere. I guess we have um, moderately important lows at 111.84, but really not much to do here. I guess a few people are going to be drawing this line here and making this to be some sort of uh, unbalanced head and shoulders, shoulder, head, shoulder. Uh, I don't know. But we're not really doing anything here in Euro. Uh, just sitting tight. Um, volatility is still on its knees. This is the average true range now, which is coming in around 47 points for the day. Just absolutely pathetic. On a more interesting note, we have dollar rand here. We talked about it at the end of the day yesterday. If we if we got risk off um, and U.S. rates stayed higher, this would be a good candidate at a good time to buy uh, some dollar rand. We did not buy it on the close yesterday, uh, regrettably. So we're just watching this now. Um, you know, as the 10 year price went higher and yields went lower, we got a bit cold feet on this. So, but today this looks like a buy on dip and this looks like a classic turn in dollar rand after a, um, you know, pretty decent down move from 1510 down to 1390. Uh, as everyone knows who listens to this channel, we love buying dollar rand. Uh, the corruption embedded um, within the government there and the climate problems with the drought and just the poor the poor financial structure of the country makes it an easy sell um, the RAND for us 
Um, so today we'll be looking to be buying some dollars down probably between 13.95 and 13.92. We'll see how that goes. Dollar Swiss yesterday, nice little break up through this 55 area. A lot of short-term momentum guys were trading it, so it was a bit messy there. Went 58, quickly down to 48, 58, 48, but then once it cleared, um, pretty straightforward up move. We're not going to chase this again. U.S. yields did go down a bit, and we're just in the middle of nowhere. We will be watching this trend line here later in the week, 99.14. Um, but again, middle of the range. If you still are long, this is a tradable long. This isn't a core long. Um, Dollar Swiss could go anywhere today, really. Dollar CAD, nice little move up yesterday. Oil got smoked. Um, Looks like this is turning for a move higher. Uh, the big point is 131.45. Um, and so there's not a whole lot to do. If you wanted to be cheeky, you could probably buy some dollar CAD uh, as a preemptive trade for when things get confirmed on prices through 131.45. It kind of looks like it's in the cards now. Um, but we're not going to, we're just going to wait. Uh, and we'll be watching this 131.45 very closely. But Dollar Cat had a big day yesterday. Kind of caught a few people by surprise. Aussie, same thing. We tried the long side yesterday up at 33. But as we said, the parameters were so tight, we just killed it through 26. Now it looks like Aussie wants to go lower, and this uh, sort of matches up with the risk off and, and the equity move lower practically bearish engulfed uh, in fact may have bearish engulfed the low there 70.10 the low the day before 70.12 yeah bearish engulfed the Aussie um, we still stand by the fact that there will be some risk above 70.50 uh, this look that looks like just a straightforward break trade now uh, but Aussie downside after failing up there and bearish engulfing at the highs and coinciding with some risk off uh, looks moderately interesting basically the same trade as dollar rand so we're going to stick with the rand uh, buying dollars against the ZAR rather than selling Aussie but Aussie downside looks interesting after that bar yesterday take a look at this gold just doing nothing really uh, this is now an interesting little pennant. I don't know how this is going to resolve itself. I guess it's going to be rates driven, but this is an interesting technical pennant here. My guess is gold is going to shake out some more longs with a move back down to th through 1384. Uh, but as we've talked about it before, any price is down towards 1360 were buyers. Um, and if we resolve through the top of this pennant, we also might. It's not in the cards right now, not in the. It's not in our trading book, but uh, we might be looking at this top side of the pennant. We shall see. Uh, that's about all I got today. You know, our focus is going to be on this dollar czar. We're going to be core short stocks, tradable short. Um, we still don't trust this downside. So we're trading for an average, uh, keeping things, keeping the amounts pretty social still, um, and just waiting for the volatility to properly come back. But long dollars are short stocks. These are our two horses today. Uh, let's see where we go. Actually, before I leave, um, just check out this Euro Yen. Euro Yen wants to go lower. I don't know why. Um, we've now had three down days, so we don't not necessarily want to trade chase this but this trend line that we've had drawn for for eons looks like it's in play now comes in uh, 120.98 keep an eye on this you have a lot of interesting lows this is 95 low this is the 80 low um, price action in euro yen is negative left hand side so just keep an eye on this trend line 
Ideally, it touches and bounces. We get a third touch and it bounces. But this is the kind of trend line that a lot of people in the world will have drawn and a lot of people in the world will trade. So that being the case, we have to watch it. All right, I've said enough. Uh, good luck out there, people. Make some dough. I will uh, catch you guys on Twitter and on YouTube tomorrow.